We are praying here for the people of China. Dear brothers and sisters in China, I am here now on the Temple Mount in Jerusalem. God Almighty has promised that this mountain will become the house of prayer for all nations. God has commanded the Jews to pray here for all of the world. And today, on behalf of all of Israel, we pray here for you, for the Chinese people. The deadly virus is causing a lot of suffering to your people. We cry to heavens, asking Father God to stop the virus. We pray for Almighty to send His wisdom to the medic who will find the healing. And we're praying to Hashem that those who are suffering and those families that lost their, their, their relatives will be comforted. Pray for a refuash nima, a complete and speedy healing for all of those infected. A full prayer, refuash nima. As I said, our hearts go out to the victims, but here is a warning to the rulers of China. Thus says the Lord God of Israel, stop persecuting believers in Bible. Stop using forced labor. Stop harvesting organs for transplant from political prisoners. This is abomination. This is the terrible evil in the God's eyes. And God says he will punish, punish all the evildoers. Repent until it is too late. We pray that God will give you wisdom and courage to change your ways. We pray that you will stop bringing God's wrath on your country. When King Solomon built here the temple, he asked the Almighty to hear every prayer offered here. This blessing is valid. It works and our prayers will be heard. This virus will be stopped and terrible abuse of human rights in China will stop as well. In the name of the Almighty God, Hashem, Chinese people will come here and join us in prayer on this holy mountain. We love you and we bless you. God shall bless you from his chosen place on this holy mountain. We love you. God bless you. God bless China from Jerusalem, the house of prayer for all nations.